Hey everybody, in this video we're talking about algebraic reasoning. Um, in geometry, one of the things that you have to do is you have to prove some things, okay? You have to prove that angles are congruent to each other, or you have to prove that these line segments uh, add up to a particular amount or something like that. And it's not just enough that you actually are able to solve some of these problems, you actually have to justify your reasoning. Uh, and so this is kind of what we're going to be talking about today is justifying your steps and finding a solution. And we're going to start with showing you an equation that you probably already know how to work. Okay, but, but as we work this out, we really need to start thinking about, you know, what rule, what fact, uh, what evidence do I have to support going to the next step? Okay, so it's kind of like, you know, what a, a detective or an attorney would do to prove guilt in their um you know, to prove guilt in someone is they're trying to take these known facts, these known, um, this evidence and, and that evidence or that fact is leading potentially to another one and then another one and then another one. And that's kind of what we're doing here with this algebraic reasoning. Uh, and we're going to use, uh, this particular equation. Now, again, you might already know how to solve this equation, by just by looking at it, you probably already know what steps at this point now is just probably just become habit. Uh, you know to, to add, you know to distribute, you know to do, do those things. But I want you really as we're solving this though, there are some rules uh, that we are using in order to do that. And those are called the properties of equality, okay? Basically what the properties of equality are is when you have an equation, um, there are certain things you can do to either side of the equation uh, or, or on one side of the equation and still have a true equal statement, okay? And so that's what we're, we're going to be using. Now, we're not going to go over all of these in particular in this, per, in this video. We'll have a handout uh, available, and we'll talk about some of these uh, as we go through this example. And we'll, we'll talk about some of these rules as we uh, go on through the unit. Uh, but I want to just start solving this and kind of tie it back to these, to these rules. Okay. So in the first step to solve this problem, now we can do a couple of different things. Uh, we can either distribute out the three to that X plus one, or we can move that seven over to the other side. Well, we're going to start with moving the seven over to the other side, just, just because. Um, and so, you know, already that you can add seven to both sides of this equation and you will still have uh, an equal equation, but because that's what the addition property of equality states, it says we can add whatever we want to one side, as long as we do the same thing to the other side, we're still going to have an equation. We're still going to have things on either side of that equal sign that are equal amounts. Okay. So this is still a true statement by adding things to both sides. So we're using that addition property of equality then to, to kind of narrow down this statement a little bit. Okay. Now we've, we've simplified it somewhat by moving the seven. Um, and now we've got left with this three times X plus one equals 21. Well, now think about what the next step is going to be, right? You got to distribute that three. Okay. So you're going to take that three, multiply it by the X and multiply it by the one. And it's that distributive property, which tells us that we can do that because three times X plus three times one is the same thing as three times X plus one. And that's what the distributive property basically says. So we're using the distributive property now in order to separate that uh, X plus one that's in, in parentheses and, and get it into something that we can actually use. Okay. And so the distributive property, we still have a, an equal uh, value there. And so now that we've solved that, we've simplified it. Uh, we're down to this three X plus three equals 21. Now you probably already know that we need to subtract the three from both sides. Okay. And again, that's not just because that's habit. That's because the subtraction property of equality tells us that if we subtract one side, uh, we subtract an amount from one side and we subtract that same amount from the other side that we're going to be able to, that we still have a, an equal uh, value on either side of that equal sign is still balanced. Okay. And so we're using that subtraction property of equality then to our advantage to simplify this solution. Okay. And so when we do that, we're left with three X plus equals 18. And I think we all know that we're going to divide at the end because the division property of equality tells us that we can divide both sides by the same thing and we still have an equal equation. So if we divide both sides by three, then uh, that leaves us with our solution. So this is how we use our reasoning to justify our solution. 
Now in the next video, we'll be talking about how to format these into a table known as a two-column proof. So you'll be using two-column proofs when you justify your reasoning for uh, line segments or when you're solving for angles, etc. So uh, be prepared to watch that video, take some good notes, and we'll see you next time.